and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate, and today we're talking about the top 10 scary Russian cover-ups. Now, Danny did a scary Chinese cover-ups, and you seem to like it, so we thought we'd give you a Russian offering. Before we get into this video, why don't you guys let me know if you've ever been to Russia? What's the furthest you've ever been away from home? I can't wait to read your comments in the comment section. Also, while you're down there, why don't you give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed for more most amazing lists. I am your host, Rebecca Felgate, and if you want to connect with me on social media, my link is in the description box. All right, Russia, what are you covering up? Coming into number 10, we have the 2018 Salisbury poisoning cover-up. This is a very sensitive topic indeed, and even caused the Russian and British governments to come to blows in a war of words. What happened was that a former Russian military officer and double agent for the UK intelligence service was poisoned in Salisbury. He and his daughter received a nasty dose. Now, Sergei and Yulia Skripal were targeted and spent three weeks in hospital. Luckily, they didn't die. Public Health England issued advice for people who visited the Mill Pub and ZZ restaurant, where Mr. Skripal and his daughter ate and drank before falling ill. They told people who had been there to wash their clothes and belongings and seal off anything that cannot be manually cleaned. Some weeks later, a woman died after accidentally handling the nerve agent Novichok discarded by the assassins. Now, one of the Russian chemical weapon scientists has said that hundreds of people in Salisbury could be at risk for years following the attack. British Prime Minister Theresa May said that it was highly likely that the Russian government was responsible. But of course, this is Russia. We may find out more information over the next few decades, or we may simply never know. Coming into number nine, we have the Ostankino Tower. The days of Russian radiation poisoning are not said to be over. In the city of Moscow, population 12 million, the Ostankino Tower looms. The tower gives out television and radio signals to the city, however, it has been accused of being a mutant maker because of the electromagnetic radiation it gives out. While this is a bit of an urban legend, with people saying that huge rats exist in the metro stations because of it, there is a scary truth to it. The Kremlin would never admit it, but a 2005 study showed that people in the Austin Kino neighborhood were affected by the tower. In other countries, it's reported that scientists are constantly monitoring radiation given out by broadcast towers, but Russia doesn't appear to be. Coming into number eight, we have the 2016 presidential election interference. There is now evidence to suggest what was long since suspected. Russian intelligence hacked the 2016 United States presidential election. The CIA concluded that Russia acted to help Trump and the Republicans win by releasing thousands of stolen emails, many of which were damaging to the Democratic Party. There is also evidence to suggest that the Russian government were bankrolling troll farms. These are places that generate and spread fake news. Current bipartisan investigations are taking place, but Donald Trump has on many occasions denied any involvement. That being said, following his most recent meeting with Vladimir Putin, Trump seemed to actually admit that maybe they were involved. While words from the United States president have been confusing, Russia, of course, are keeping a stony silence. Coming into number seven, we had state-sponsored doping and FIFA. In 2016, it was revealed that Russia was involved with state-sponsored doping of their Olympic team and that they had been threatening members of the World Anti-Doping Agency. As a result of investigations, it's suspected that between 2011 and 2015, more than a thousand Russian Olympians benefited from a doping cover-up. Scarily, the investigations also revealed that a lot of the athletes were being given drugs without their knowledge. Anyway, it seems that Russia was back to their old tricks ahead of the FIFA World Cup. There's some evidence to suggest that the Kremlin was bribing FIFA officials ahead of the World Cup to ignore a cheated drugs test. Coming into number six, we have the Aral smallpox incident. Not only did Russia test nuclear weapons, they were also testing biological weapons. The Aral smallpox incident took place in July 1971, but the world only found out about it 30 years later in 2002. In 1971, the USSR knew that a vaccination for smallpox was widely available and that the disease was on the brink of being eradicated. While that sounds like a great thing, these days it means that most of us haven't actually been vaccinated for smallpox. And if sneaky labs like those that existed in the Soviet era are storing the disease, then they could launch biological warfare. 
Anyway, the Soviets were testing smallpox as a weapon in an open air environment. This was all happening on an island port on the Aral Sea. Now, the test got out of control and it caused an outbreak on the island. Hundreds of people were quarantined and 50,000 people were vaccinated as a response. The Kremlin have never acknowledged the incident, but Kazakh officials prepared a report that outlined what happened. They concluded that three people died and it could have been a lot worse. Nonetheless, the fact that Russia was testing this in the first place is a scary sign. Coming into number five, we have Metro 2. According to USA declassified government documents, it seems that the Soviet Union built a secret nuclear layer underneath the public subway. In urban legends, this has been dubbed Metro 2, however it seems as if the bunker is no legend. It's suspected that during the Cold War, Stalin built a whole system of secret trains connecting secret bunkers beneath the city. Now this extends below the Moscow Metro and beyond. It is said Stalin codenamed it D6, a code used by by the KGB until 1991 and is still used by the Ministry of Defense to this day. The legend also says that the underground bunker connects the Kremlin, the Federal Security Service headquarters and the government airport. Some people even say there's an underground town down there primed and prepped for the nuclear apocalypse. In 1994, so nearly 25 years ago, a group of urban explorers claimed to have found the entrance to Metro 2. I for one am wondering who's on the invite list into the bunker if D-Day ever comes. Coming into number four, we have the Nedlin catastrophe. During the Cold War, both America and Russia were making preparations to attack one another should they have to. What weapons they were creating and how they were developing them was kept a very closely guarded secret until the product was finished. On October the 24th, 1960, the Soviet were testing an intercontinental ballistic missile. Now these are bad news. Either way, early testing didn't go well and the first missile exploded on a launch pad at the back and test range. This killed 100 members of staff, including the Chief Marshal of Artillery, Mitrofan Ivanich Nedlin. Despite the huge scale of the disaster, the USSR covered it up. The Soviet government didn't even acknowledge the event until after 1989. Coming into number three, we have the Lost Cosmonauts. This space race was an interesting time for the world. The USA and the USSR were locked into a battle to be the first to discover the secrets of the wider universe. As a result, Russia poured money into funding space research, but things didn't always go smoothly. Because of the competition with the Americans, the Soviets would cover up if anything went wrong, so any disasters or mistakes were totally covered up in order to present a better image of their efforts to the world. There is a conspiracy theory out there that says that Russia sent several astronauts to space before Yuri Gagarin, but their existence has never been acknowledged by the Soviet or Russian authorities. In 1959, a Czech communist leaked information about now-dead astronauts being sent into space and killed. It also alleged that the USSR had several moonshots that ended in launch pad disasters, including deaths of scientists, technicians, and would-be astronauts. Coming into number two, we have the Chernobyl disaster. On April the 26th, 1986, a nuclear reactor at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded. This directly killed 31 people. The explosion caused uncontrolled reaction conditions and created an open-air graphite fire that produced updrafts for nine days. This spewed radioactive fission products into the air. Now this radioactive material rained down over wider parts of the USSR and Europe. As a result of wider exposure to radioactivity, it is thought that tens of thousands of people were poisoned, but we don't know an exact figure as the Russian Soviet Union did their best to cover up the wider spread of the catastrophe. We don't even know today. Over 30 years later, we still don't have answers. We still don't know the ins and outs of what happened, but it has been pretty much confirmed that the explosion was down to human error and malpractice. Again, we don't know how much of Europe outside of Russia was exposed to radiation poisoning as the Soviet tried to minimize the drama and actively stunted the scientific research into the incident. By and large, we have all heard of Chernobyl, but that isn't the only Russian radioactive cover-up, not by a long stretch. Coming into number one, we have the semi palatinsk tests. Throughout the Soviet era, especially during the Cold War, the USA 
USSR tested a lot of nuclear weapons, like a lot. As you may know, the Russians have actually invented the world's most powerful nuclear weapon, the Tsar bomber. That came through exhaustive nuclear tests in facilities across Russian land. One of the most frequently used facilities was Semipalantinsk, this is also known as the Polygon. This land is now in the country of Kazakhstan, but was formerly owned by the USSR. Now the issue with this test site was that, in reality, it wasn't very remote at all. It was actually just upwind was the town of Semi. Now it seems that the Soviets carried out 456 nuclear tests at this facility between 1949 and 1989, with no regard to the effect on the local people or environment. Russian officials hid the full impact of the radiation exposure for years, but since the facility was closed in 1991, more and more scary details have come to light. This, for example, is a strawberry grown in Semi. Here is a man born in Semi in the height of the testing years. Also, there is so little information about the facility out there that the rest of the world has no idea the full extent of sickness inflicted on humans as a result of the testing. How terrifying. So guys, that was the top 10 scary Russian cover-ups. If you're wondering why there isn't so much from modern era Russia, well, I mean, have a look back at this list and consider that it took 30 or more years for Soviet information to come to light. I wonder what this list will look like in 30 years from now. So guys, once again, do let me know if you've ever been to Russia and the furthest away from home you've ever been. Before we check out of this video, I just want to read some comments from one of my most recent videos, the top 10 scary alone in the shower stories. Luna the Wolfie said, I need swimming lessons not to drown in the sea of comments. I like it. But I found you, so I'm like the lifeguard of the comment section. Ah, or the shark. Ooh. The Cat Queen said, obviously Squidward. I have no idea what that's in reference to. <laughs> what are you talking about? But yes, for Squidward. Thank you guys for leaving those comments. I always love reading them out at the end of the video. It makes me very happy. So don't forget to leave a comment on this, leave it a good old thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed for my most amazing lists. I'm your host, Rebecca Falgate. I'll see you next time.